Yeah, yeah, this is T Nasty. Now I got another dope video for y'all. It's a video about lackluster, and I missed quite a bit of lackluster videos. Sheesh. But if y'all want me to react to those videos, just let me know. I will do that. There's a couple of them I want to react to. Just two that I want to react to that I missed since uh, the last time he uploaded. You know, I've been in the hospital for three days, so I'm trying to, between work and the hospital, I'm trying to bounce back, trying to get caught up with my, uh, my reactions and stuff like that. But, you know. You like oh see that's just a finger, but yeah, I had like a, a pretty bad infection in my my finger. I've been stuck on antibiotics the whole time. Uh, almost done with it. Uh, yeah, uh, from from my understanding, if I didn't take care, I could have died just because my finger was infected. You know, what I'm saying it's crazy just to even think about. But anyways, uh, this video right here is a uh, cops taunts father after the department paralyzes his son. Team me on a lawsuit. Without further ado, uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Leave your boy some comments. Let me know how am I doing. Da 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 da. Let's go ahead and get to this reaction. Paris, he was shot in his back. Can't tell if there's an exit wound right now. Can I help you? I mean, can I help you apply pressure or anything? It's fine. I don't blame you for what you did, but, but oh my God. I don't want to get in your car. I didn't do anything. I don't no, want to get no, in your no. car. I knew better than to let him shut that door. <laughs> <laughs> you fathered me. I flipped you off and you fathered me because you didn't like it. Make me go somewhere. Make me go somewhere. You ain't very big, are you? No, I'm not. You got your hand on your side by your gun. Is that illegal? No, it's not illegal. Do you have a problem with it? Yeah. Then do something about it. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Oh, wow. On June 1st, 2021, a man that goes by the name of Coco was involved in a motor vehicle <laughs> rollover accident, after Coco. which he walked home prior to the arrival of officers. I heard a bang and he I heard a horn. He on he it. Off, off, off. Off. I thought it was your car alarm, right? Yeah, he went up that way. Like ah, he's just the alt user. After investigating the scene, officers arrived at his house to learn that he was sleeping and was told that Coco would speak to the officers in the morning. I've been cool with you from the get go, okay? And I don't, yes. I, I don't mean to sound like a jack. My wife tells me I can come don't, up that way. Don't, along. don't okay. feel that way. Please don't. Shortly into the investigation, Coco appears at the door. Do you honestly expect us to believe that? Mr. Colton does not know who drove his... Very possibly. I'm not saying that he does or he doesn't, I but very possibly. Uh, I just go to bed. No, sir, I'd like for you to come out and talk like to us for a minute. Your truck is flipped in some... Okay, something. Coco exits his residence with a rifle aimed at his chin, threatening to shoot himself. And almost just as quickly, he turns to go back inside. Hey, boy, oh, boy, boy, boy. <laughs> Despite lowering his weapon and turning his back on the officers, one opens fire, shooting him square in the back. Can I help you? I mean, can I help you if I... I don't know how I feel about that. He did come out with a rifle, right? But he also... Like, if you was going to shoot him, you would have shot him as soon as he came out with the rifle. Not when his back was turned. So I get why <laughs> it's a big deal. Dude, somebody's causing you to learn how to de-escalate stuff, bro. That's crazy to shoot somebody in the back. No gun. That gun wasn't pointed at them. It was pointed at himself. Pressure or anything. I mean, oh my God, I don't even know what's happening. Walk to my, walk to my no, truck. Walk listen, to my car. listen, okay. I can calm. It's fine. I don't blame you for what you did, but, but oh my is, God. Yes. I don't want to get in your car. I didn't do anything. I don't no, want to get no, no, in your no. car. I'm just putting no, you in no, there. No. I would rather stay right here. I would, okay, so my nurse, my sister is a nurse practitioner. I would rather go in and help treat him the best I can. I have everything honey, in my bag. Okay? Honey, no, I know you're doing your job. I'm stay not right here by the front you. of my car. Okay? Fair. Okay. I am not against. Thank you. Paris, he was shot in his back. Can't tell if there's an exit wound right now. Coco's father arrives on scene and tries to make his way to his son. And in trying to prevent him from entering the residence, the same officer that shot Coco tases his father and detains him in the back of a police cruiser. Better not shot him. Better not shoot him. Yeah. 
you see I'm a team? Sir, you, you need to back up. Sir, sir, you need to back up. You need to back up. I'm not trying to fight y'all. That's okay. my kid. I understand. Uh, yeah, come see my kid. A supervisor arrives on scene and finally removes the officer that fired the shot. Without going into all gory details. Just I knew potatoes. better. I knew better than to let him go inside that f***ing house, Birch. I knew better than to let him shut that now man just looking at that bro i can almost get where the cop was coming from like they're human just like we are right they have a job to do and he just knew that he kind of messed up right like he because he's crying he knew he messed up bro and dude whew, that's tough that's it's a little tough bro that's a little tough man i don't even know how i don't even know what to say about that bro because I can, I can see why he did it. Because the dude, they have a damn gun. And, he, and he's, I'm sure he was wrong for shooting. Like, it's instinct, bro. Like, boom, dude got a gun. So instead of him going in the house, you're making it more difficult for us to do our job. Before he goes in the house, I'm going to pop him in his fucking ass. You know what I'm saying? I get it, I, bro. I totally get it, bro. In this circumstance, it's not blatant, and I get it, bro. I really do. I, I, I'm actually for the cop on this one, just because I get it, bro. Because the dude, he literally walked out with a fucking rifle. Like, granted, he didn't point at him or nothing like that, but you know how difficult it would have been if that dude went in the house with that gun and actually trying to get him out? Was it the right decision? Probably not, but I get it. So, and he's showing his, he's showing his emotion, bro. Man, that's tough, man. This, this, this was this is probably the hardest one I probably reacted to because I don't I don't know who, who I can't pick a side on this one. I really can't because the dude legit walked out with the fucking pistol. Now it was me. Honestly. Hmm. I don't think I would let him walk in the house either, though. Because trying to negotiate with a dude with a rifle inside the house, he can he can just fucking pick you off inside the house if you really wanted to, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what's going on with this crazy motherfucker at the time because he actually walked outside with a fucking rifle. Then he'll go inside, and while I'm still standing outside, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm still standing outside with this motherfucker. Normally, he, normally he has a fucking rifle on him. And I'm standing outside. He can just pick us apart. You know what I'm saying? Me and my other officer, he can just pick us apart from inside the house. So, ooh, that's a tough one, bro. I mean, it's probably going to go against him on this one just because the dude did turn around and he did pop him in the back. But, man, I don't, I don't know what he could have done in that situation, bro. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what he could have done in that situation, bro. Like, real talk. No. The one you shot the one in the house. Is that a house? Whatever that what is. could he have done? He comes out with a f***ing deal rifle. I got the ammo in the magazine in my pocket. It's fine. He came out with it to his head. She stepped inside, and or she stepped in front of him. And, uh... So he's, trying to, come, so he's trying to come to and he walked inside back and he started to walk back inside the house and now a lot of y'all gonna say like oh man if you can't do the job because he, he did start crying you know what i'm saying if you can't handle the job then he shouldn't be a police officer and i get that too i really do i guess i can see both sides in this situation i really can and i'm not this right here i'm not even gonna argue it's right and wrong on both sides totally and that's when she moved out the way and I took the shit out of her. Okay. Just relax. Okay. 
you rolling? Uh -huh. Put that Coco was rendered aid and taken to a hospital, but the result of the gunshot wound to his back paralyzed him from the waist down. After the shooting, the officer was placed on leave, but the Texas Rangers investigated and found that Officer Derek Bristow's actions were justified, despite the fact that Coco never aimed a weapon at anybody and had his back turned to the officers at the time of the shooting. The situation was obviously a mental health crisis, not one that required a violent intervention, but that is not where the story ends. Coco made a recovery and is in good health despite the paralysis, and there is an ongoing lawsuit for this encounter. But nearly a year and a half later, Coco's father was driving down the street when he noticed an officer of the Paris Police Department driving by, the same department that shot his son. As the officer passed, Coco's father flipped off the cop. The officer then followed Coco's father into a parking lot to exchange words. You need some help with something? Do what? Well, it seemed like we helped you out pretty good before. You got a problem with it, do something about it. Hey, quit, running, quit running around, running your mouth, flipping us off, everything else. Do what? I said, you ain't got nothing over me. I ain't saying I got nothing over you. You're the one to act like you need help with something. You need help with something? You're the one driving by us, flipping us off, honking your horn, sitting outside the PD. Do you need help with something? Call your attorney. This is a voluntary contact. Voluntary? I ain't, I ain't got you held here for nothing. Stop doing your job. I am doing my job. What is that doing? Call me fucking me? Nothing. <laughs> 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 too. You're the one. Be on. You're the one acting like you need help or something. Act, I don't need no damn help. All right, then you're free to go. I haven't stopped you. We can jump out your damn deal with your damn hand on your side, mother. Okay, hey, you want to use profanity? You can go to jail for disorderly conduct. There's people out and about. Yeah, you're gonna out. make up your damn laws. Go ahead, make them up. I'll do it. Belcher. Belcher. I was there that night too. Yeah, you a duck dickhead. Yeah. You are. Well, yeah. See what I got y'all before, didn't you? You see what it's going to get you to say? Do it. Do Set something. Months, All right, now, this is totally different now. This cop is dead ass fucking wrong. Like, he's dead ass wrong, bro. You see what I got you? No, that's tough. That is tough. No, he needs. <laughs> oh, man. Right, hey, I'm glad I read this Somebody video. Out. Holy. You're the one like, you need help. You got a problem? You know? Your day's coming. Yeah, in court, okay. in court. Okay, bitch. okay. Yeah, in court, bitch. So you've already been there, right? I gotta go back, but that's what I thought too. Yeah, because y'all's feelings are hurt. My feelings ain't hurt. I'm not. Yeah, your fucking feelings are hurt. Who's the one riding around flipping people off, acting like a little, like like a little bitch? Yeah, what you gonna yeah. say, bitch? I didn't say it though, did I? Yeah, you yeah. wanted to. Your son made his decision that night, okay? My son was suicidal, bitch. Okay. Well, and you alive. shot your officer, shot him in the fucking back. He's alive, then, ain't he? You motherfucker. Okay. You got a problem with it, step out. I got time. a damn problem okay. with it, but I ain't gonna step out because I go to fucking jail. Okay. Well, then you have a nice day. Well, then go. Okay. Get the fuck out of here, then. I'm standing go right do here. your goddamn job. I ain't going anywhere. Make me go somewhere. Make me go somewhere. I ain't. I'm just that cop made it personal, bro. You're free to go. Ain't nobody You're dismissed. Okay. Go. Okay. I'm standing here, though. Dismissed. No. Nope. That cop made it personal, bro. <laughs> Where are they at again? Oh man. This is recording. That's good. I'm glad you got you got yours recording. I'm gonna record you too. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. Oh man. Hey, you gonna say something else? No, I'm talking. Everything I've said has been recorded. Yeah. Everything I say has been recorded. I know. And you're fing with me. I know. Yeah, I do. yeah, you do know you're fing with me. Yeah, you're harassing me. How's that? Getting out with somebody driving by flipping us off? You're make gonna it, get the finger. You're it, gonna get the fine. finger. Right there, bitch. Then you're gonna get talked to. You know what? You My dad worked for y'all 30 years and you showed him some disrespect when you didn't put that motherfucker in jail, didn't you? Who? Who do you want in jail? Bristol, <laughs> bitch. He goes to jail all the time. Yeah, he needs to be thrown put, in prison. Putting people like you there. Ha <laughs> ha, like me? Yeah. I'm not a criminal. Yeah. I 
Oh, there you are. No, I'm not. That's why you got caught. Because I told him that night I was going to. Yeah, that's why you got court coming up. Because you got criminal charges. That Ooh. makes you a criminal. I'm not a criminal bitch. I don't, I don't, I don't break the law intentionally. Okay. Neither do we. Apparently you're fing harassing me right now. How am I harassing you? I'm in a public parking lot. You fathered me. I flipped no, you off and you fathered me because you didn't like it. Because you didn't fing like it. I'm making sure you don't need anything. You're free I to go. I don't need nothing. You're free to go. Dismiss. Go. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Oh, God. Damn. You ain't very big, are you? No, I'm not. No, you ain't. And you acting I'm like a, a big mother. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to go to jail for this conduct. Parents, police. Okay, I won't say another cuss word, dude. Okay. Okay. You got your hand on your side by your gun. Is that illegal? No, it's not illegal. Do you have a problem with it? Yeah. Then do something about it. You don't want me to. Do it. You don't want You'll me to. You'll get away with it. It's just me and you right you now. Yeah, it is just me and you. Yeah, I go to jail, mother. Whoa! You got your little bucket. Hey, small guy. Hey, small guy syndrome. It's just me and you right you now. Yeah, it is just me and you. Just me and you yeah. right now. I go to jail, mother. Hmm? You got your little backup gang. Where? I is, is anybody else here? Ain't nobody here right now. Just me and you. Just me and you. Take your gun off. Take your badge off. Take your taser off. Take your shit off. Take your clothes off. Why would I take it off? Because then it's be just me and you, wouldn't it? Go ahead. It must be me and you, this bitch. me and you. No. It's you got your me. shit on. It's just me and you. Yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I'll be out with Mr. Coco behind the right here. I think he's sick. That's what I thought. You're the one driving away? We're just here to settle the problem. We're going to find out seven months. We're going to find out seven months. Oh, hey. <laughs> You still have a f up day. How hey, about tell, that? You, tell your son we said hi. Let me know what you think down below. Was this encounter meant to intimidate and harass? Bro, are they got especially after the office. I need an update, bro. Oh, I, I think there was an update, bro. Wait a minute. That was crazy, bro. That was crazy, bro. That was crazy, bro. Yeah, it was all day. Here we go. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Uh, here we My go. last video featured in an really that this. happened in Paris, Texas. An officer shot a man in the back and hey, later that's that the victim's father. Hey, hey I that's mean, a little W. You have high pressure. Anything is fine. I don't blame you for what you did, but, but oh my this. god, I don't. What do you have a problem with it? Yeah. Richard Salter. English is Ivan's second language, so the spelling and grammar isn't textbook. But hey, the messages are I'm saying curtains. His first email to Salter reads, Hello there, fellows. Your employees, especially Belcher, are the best. They're supposed to be sound canceling and stuff, but this uh, video sure out. Really nice policing. Greetings from Germany, Ivan. Yeah, let me know in the comment section. How did my sound sound? Posted. Generally, I would imagine. Hey, shout out to Lattles. Hey, show his face. Deleting it, responding with something copy and paste or a response indicating the department's stance on the incident instead oh, sorry, Chief Salter demonstrated that he lacks the temperament to hold his rank in the department and responds with this you mean the same germany that murdered millions of jewish families i suppose if all cops are to be judged by the actions of one then all germans should be as well the chief then ends the email in a different font and color which roughly translates to enjoy your day the differing font and color suggesting that the chief used the department's computers to translate the phrase to add a little flair to his insulting email. Ivan responded with this. Nah, not really. I can't do much about things that happened 70 years ago. Your personnel are right there, making your department famous today. You have a nice day too. The obvious sentiment is that Ivan surely bears no responsibility to the events that his ancestors endeavored in nearly a hundred years ago, but that the chief is the current leader in his department, and has, or at least should have, some control over his subordinates. I would also hey, argue bro, that the hey, leaders Lattles, of hey. the individuals in the department are a direct reflection of the leadership. But the chief appears to disagree, and his next email says, Once again, you make assumptions that justify your opinion. Not gonna cat Lattluster? If I was starting like a show or something where I need some uh, narration, <laughs> I'll come in and find you. <laughs>
<laughs> you have no I'm idea saying, what's that going on behind real. the scenes with regard to this incident, but you form your opinion and create a false narrative as though you do. Oh, I guess. If you're gonna lob insults at my department, at least run a spell check right. before sending. It will make you appear smarter. An odd response, considering Ivan created no narrative. But more important is the common response we normally receive from law enforcement agencies following a large-scale incident like this. They want us to wait before forming an opinion with the information that we have, while at the same time, they are the gatekeepers of the information we don't have. Chief Salter claims that we have no idea what is going on behind the scenes, and if that is true, it's at no one's fault but his own. Currently, we've been told that Officer Belcher is on paid administrative leave, and that an investigation has been ongoing for a month be. to evaluate the that's officer's crazy. conduct against the core values and policies of the department. And that's it. Especially with opinion of the going on, he should be like attacking us his father like that, What bro. opinion does Chief Salter expect us to have? Now the communications don't end there. Ivan responds to the Chief with the following. Dear Richard, it is very remarkable that you pay attention to how and what I say instead of paying attention to what your employees say. Greeting someone who has been paralyzed is a very ironic and highly unprofessional, regardless of the history. You honestly make just as unprofessional as an impression as your coworkers. No wonder. The staff is the face of the precinct. Obviously, English is not my first language, still. I'm so thrilled that you're actually contacting me that I even paid attention to spelling to make it easier for you to follow. For your time, I thank you. I apologize for any hurt feelings and wish you every success. Many greetings. And to that, the chief responded with, You assume that I haven't paid attention to what my employees say, and you assume that I'm not addressing the matter appropriately. Everything you have said, written, is based on those assumptions. You are wrong on both accounts. Ask yourself, what made you fabricate those conclusions? To which Ivan replies, Dear Richard, I will deepen my own research. You are right on this point. It is certainly not an easy task to answer for everyone. Not everyone is judged by one. Do not get me wrong, but to thrive like that, Mr. Belcher must have hit very fertile ground. He then ends the email asking to continue the dialogue in the future. And finally, the chief responds with the email he should have sent in the very first place. While I cannot share any of the details of the internal investigation, I can assure you that my fellow officers and I do not condone that kind of behavior from one of our own. When the investigation is complete, I believe the outcome will be appropriate. Alright, this is the problem I have with cops these days, bro. Like, literally. Like, they, as they should, in some extent, back their own, right? Because you're a team. Like, like I work in refrigeration, right? I have my own crew. We have a bunch of crews. And I'm always going to back my crew with any other trade. When it comes to the electricians, when it comes to the drywall. No matter who it is, bro, I'm always, no matter if my crew is wrong, I'm always back. My guys, you know what I'm saying? Always. I'm not going to let them get bullied by other trades. You know what I'm saying? When we, when we work together and stuff like that, I'm always bet my guys. So I get it. But when it comes to being like a public official, come on, man. You got to kind of like, you kind of got to like, hey, this dude right here is a fucking asshole. And we don't need assholes in our field. Like you gotta know, as a, a as a sergeant or as a lieutenant, you gotta know this guy's wrong. Like you have to, you have to be like hold people accountable, because it's not like I'm I'm just in the trade, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I can do that. Or like with any other like profession or whatever, bro. You know what I'm saying? I can do that because I'm not held to that that standard, bro. I'm not held. To, that kind of accountability, bro. Like, police officers are held to that accountability because it's not just... You have a whole city or a whole county to police, bro. So you got to you gotta show some restraint. You got to have, like, this... Oh, man, it's hard to say. You just got to... You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to make this video long, but you know what I'm saying, bro. They held to a higher standard, bro. So you can't just be like, oh, I'm going to back my boys, bro. Whenever they fucking did, that's wrong. You know what I'm saying? We'll certainly be watching we'll for lot. that outcome. But I think Ivan ended with a perfect point. That to thrive in the Paris Police Department, Officer Belcher must have hit very fertile ground. 
Belcher wasn't a rookie or a probie. Like right, this cop right here just his years in the department have taught him that he need not fear the repercussions of it. Like this cop right here just walking up to that guy and talking all that crap. Like say hey to your son and all the other crap. Like, bro, come on now. Threatening this dude. Just cause he flicked yo. He needs to be held accountable, bro. And his he needs to be either reprimanded or he, it, something needs to happen to this dude, bro. It's, it's no way he should still be on the force. From what I see, looking at the body count, his actions, he should be no longer. Matter of fact, I won't say he needs to go to jail for it, but he at least needs to be fired. His actions. He likely understands that there will be no criminal charges pursued, that any monetary settlements made to the family will be paid by the taxpayers he is insulting, and that he will likely only be asked to resign, taking an early retirement, or lateraling over to another department in another county or state. In the interactions that we watch on this channel, we often observe when an officer's temperament is uncontrolled and results in physical action. But here, we see what happens when the chief is in a calm, sterile environment behind a desk, and he still can't de-escalate. So in the end, is this really all that bad of a thing? No, it's not. But if this is how they react to a mildly toned email from someone that lives 5,000 miles away, it's no wonder they shoot people in the back. <laughs> I, I want to end it off of that because that was cold. I'm going to leave it. <laughs> that was cold. I'm going to leave it. All from there, bro. Like, listen. The, this whole, like, this can be like <sighs> the first instance when he gets shot in the back. I can get how it could be like seen in both ways. Like, you can't let a motherfucker go in the fucking house with a fucking rifle so he can pick you apart. I get why he shot him in the back. You know what I'm saying? Well, not get shot in the back, maybe shot in the leg or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It, it's other ways to detain somebody or like, you know what I'm saying, without shooting them in the back, paralyzing them, you know what I'm saying? So I get it, right? Do suicidal, I get it, right? Because I don't know why they got caught out in, in the first place. You know what I'm saying? They got caught out, out there for a reason. So I'm not going to speculate and like, oh, he was an asshole for shooting in the back. I get it, bro. I really do. Because the dude did have a lot of fucking rifle out there. So I get it. I understand it. So I'm not hating on them because of that. But what that cop did afterwards was fucked up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Pretty bad, bro. You know what I'm saying? So y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this whole situation. Because I'm, I, I really don't. I really can't say how I feel about it, bro. So y'all let me know in the comment section. What was the right step, right? Like, what what should happen to the uh, the cop that shot him in the back, and what should happen to the cop that was talking stupid to his uh, his father? Y'all let me know in the comment section, bro. I'm I'm gonna leave it up to y'all, bro. Uh, this is your boy T Nasty, though, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, shout out to the Light Luster for another banger. This is your boy T Nasty, man. How about your boy? And I'm out.